My name is Adam Wrigley. I'm a mechanical engineer at Frog Design, and I like to make little clock mechanisms. Being a mechanical engineer, I've always been intrigued by mechanical watches, how they work, how they go together. Um, and so I got really into taking them apart, putting them back, got all the tools. And I started being obsessed with tourbillons. If you've ever seen uh, Vinnie Halter's Deep Space watch, uh, I watched that video over and over again, just staring at the mechanism ticking. That watch cost a quarter million dollars. There was no way I would be able to afford to own it. And in fact, I had no idea how I'd ever even see one in person. I think there's only a half dozen of them. So I figured the only way I would get to see that movement was to build it. And then I figured 3D printing was a good way to do it. This isn't even every piece on the table here. I spent about a month getting just the basic mechanism ticking. Uh, and then I spent another two months until I got the first one spinning in three axes, but it had a habit of exploding. And then once I got it all together, getting it rotating without slipping teeth was another challenge. I had to keep changing gear ratios. The first iteration had 30 pounds of counterweight, and this one's down to two. Part of this was I, I really wanted this mechanism for myself. I really wanted to have one sitting that I could just stare at. And, but then as I started making it, I figured, why should it only be for me? I redesigned all the parts. They were easy to print, no support needed. I just kept making everything as simple as I could because I wanted more people to be able to build it if they, if they wanted to. A lot of people ask me why I'm not charging for them. A lot of people ask me why I don't sell it. Uh, I think part of the point was just to get it as cheap as possible. I think it's kind of funny to take a quarter million dollar mechanism and make it free. Granted, this isn't as good as a quarter million dollar watch. It's not even close, but it's still fun to look at. And it's just a little funny to me to make something that was once so expensive just be so accessible to anybody who wants to learn about it. I want to see what other people do with it. I want to see if anyone else does anything with the mechanism that, that I don't think of. But I really want to see other people make some. I think it'd be really cool 